As the leaves change and the temperature continues to drop, it becomes time for Goshen to cap off their fall season. But it doesn't just end. The Maple Leaf World Series has been the grand finale of the preseason for over a decade. Assistant coach Brad Stoltz has been through this contest as both a player and a coach. It brings on a very uh, different aspect coaching it, because um, obviously playing it was a ton of fun. You know, um, anytime you get a chance to compete against your guys is always fun, especially when it feels like it means a lot more um, with bragging rights and, and so on with, with that. As the Maple Leaf World Series became cemented in the culture, so did the legacy that former assistant coach Doug Wellenreiter played in the contest. When you think of like the Maple Leaf World Series, you instantly go to Doug Wellenreiter, right? You know, assistant coach passed away um, a couple years ago and just like his passion for like just that like the, just that week of like getting to compete right in the lineup um you know him squeezing and double squeezing to win games and just the excitement he would get over winning an inner squad game i feel like it can take a lot away from how doug coached to ways that i try to to coach as well with trying to inspire the players and and get them excited about the game and and really get them thinking about the game um, in a in a different way that they might have uh, not have had experience in the past. Wellen Ryder went on to win six Maple Leaf World Series titles before being upset in 2019. It was a ton of fun, and we ended up uh, uh, winning that game. So uh, certainly winning Game Three against Coach Doug in 2019. Although the fall is ending, head coach Alex Childers is still optimistic for the future. We got a pretty good cohesive group. Um, we're going to have to get a lot better um, before we play somebody in the spring. Um, but the fall's kind of built up to that. And, you know, this Maple Leaf World Series thing that we do at the end is just kind of like the culmination of all that. You know, guys get a real chance to just kind of uh, just go out there and compete. I'm Gabe Kermode, reporting for Good Sports. <laughs>